Hi my little cupcakes, I'm Mio and I'm so excited today to show you how to make this adorable orange slice pillow from scratch. I've been meaning to add a little more color to the living room and these orange fruit pillows do just the trick. They're really easy to make so stay tuned on how to make them and for more videos like these please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Let's get started. For this project I'm going to reuse the pattern I used in my peppermint pillow tutorial. All this is is a round circle that's 17 inches in diameter or 8.5 inches in radius. I'm using some pins to help hold my pattern in place and I'm putting it through two layers of fabric. The type of fabric I'm using is actually fleece. It costs a little bit more but I think they're perfect for these projects. They're pretty easy and foolproof to make the perfect shape that you want them to be. When cutting out my pattern, I leave half an inch around the pattern to help sew the seams and gently remove all your pins and you should have two nice circles like so. To make the slice design down my orange, I'm going to have to make a new pattern. So using some paper, I just stuck four pieces together to form a nice large sheet and I'm going to draw a smaller circle from my original pattern. I placed my original pattern underneath so I can get an idea how large it is and I formed dots about one and a half inches inside the perimeter and I connected all my dots to form my smaller circle. I also draw three lines to form six slices so I kind of get an idea of where my slices and how large they will be. And of course if you want your orange to have more than six slices, by all means make more. Using the pattern guidelines, I'm drawing a slice on top of my pattern so that I can get a rough idea of how large the slice is going to be. And make sure it's actually about a centimeter smaller than your slice so you can still see the white part surrounding it. I use white fleece to form the inner circle and you only actually need one circle for this. But if you would like both sides of your orange to have the slice pattern, by all means make two. But mine will only have one. And of course I'm going to cut out six light yellow slices to form the inner part. As you notice when I position the slices onto my white circle, they're about a centimeter apart. I'm going to take some pins and help pin them down to support them and sew this as close to the seam as I can. I felt that the original orange that I chose was too dark so I chose a lighter orange and here is what my slice pattern looks like after I've sewed down the seams. I am by no means a perfect sewer, but I tried my best. So taking your slice pattern, you're going to pin this onto one slice of your orange. And again, if you decided both sides to have a pattern, go ahead and sew them on both sides, but I just sewed it on one. With the pattern side up, I'm placing a blank one right on top of it with the nice sides facing inward. To give my orange a more three-dimensional shape, I cut a long strip of fleece that's about five and a half inches in width. You're going to pin this to the top and bottom face of your orange and you're going to leave about half an inch for you to sew the seam. I really like to use pins because not only does it give you a rough guideline as to what your project's going to look like in the end, but it also shows you where you need to sew. With more complex projects, this definitely becomes a lifesaver. So this is what my project looks like when I put in all the pins. I'm going to go ahead and leave this opening there because I'm going to use that to form the stuffing and turn it inside out. So here's my project after I sewed all the seams together and I have an opening at the top. I flip it inside out and start putting stuffing in the center. I'm just using regular pillow stuffing from a pillow I bought at Target. I generally like to stuff my pillows until it's really firm. For the leaf, I just use some scissors to cut a nice little leaf shape and make sure you have two because you're going to sew them together. And once again, I sewed about a one centimeter seam along each side, flipped it inside out, and this is what my leaf looks like. Now to give it more shape, I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to sew along the top part of the leaf to give it three dimensional feel to it. To form the stem, I used some brown cloth and cut it into a nice round circle and formed an up and down stitch along the perimeter. When you pull on the thread, as you can see, it wrinkles up to form a nice little pouch. I'm going to leave an opening and put some stuffing in the center to form the stem of my orange. Make sure you secure this really nice and close and stitch it with your leaf on top of the orange. I specifically chose to place my stem and leaf at the very top where I placed the stuffing to hide the seam that I had. You guys now have an adorable orange pillow to help decorate your apartment, home, or room. 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. For more like these, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And do check out my other videos for more craft tutorials. My Instagram username is FlyingNeo. You can check me out there if you want. And good luck crafting, everyone. I hope it turns out well. Thanks for watching and bye!